This is how a drone looked some hundred years ago. Hi, my name is Igor Prikazuk, and I will tell you about Earth observation. Let's go. So, it started uh, 200 years ago, in the year 1860s, the aerial photography began from hot air balloons. And this is the photo of Boston, that times. Some 50 years later, when cameras became smaller, those nice birds, or those nice still birds, were the carriers of, the carriers of photo cameras. Another 50 years passed, and we launched satellites to the orbit. Tyrus 1 was the first imaging satellites, and we can see what it saw. On the left, it's a picture of 1960. On the right, it's a modern picture of the year 2000. You see, the resolution improved, but the overall idea stayed the same. So, if you imagine yourself as a satellite, what would you see? You see clouds, you see water, and you see land. What does it give to us? What does it give to you? So clouds, remote sensing, helps you to decide whether it's going to rain or not, and if you have to take umbrella or not. But which is even more important, it protects you from the hurricanes on the days when you probably shouldn't leave a house at all. Water remote sensing is not only drinking water, but, and in the first place, salty water in oceans and seas, and then it's lake and rivers, and then another portion of fresh water is contained in snow and ice. So oceans and seas from remote sensing look very, very beautiful. But in fact, if you live there, it's not that nice. Furthermore, tsunamis may arrive and Earth observation can predict and protect you and inform you before. Lakes and rivers are the sources of uh, irrigation water and also of drinking water. But sometimes during drought, people can face a shortage of water. Earth observation can uh, predict and inform about that as well. Finally, snow and ice. It looks very beautiful, but as we know, in the view of global warming, the ice cover is getting thinner. Land applications include mineralogy, forestry, farming, and also urban sciences. Rocks and other minerals can be viewed and in a series of uh, aerial photograph photographs, meteorological maps of areas can be created. Forests. Forest is the lungs of Earth. But as you know, deforestation is a problem. Not only because we cut down trees, but also fires destroy them. Farms. A source of food. And in the view of growing population, the monitoring of uh, farms and farmlands is important. Finally, cities. Again, in the view of growing population and urbanization, city plans are mapped, are created. And also, remote sensing at night can provide you the outlook of, for example, energy development in Europe over 20 years. So, there are a lot of applications of remote sensing, and of course, nobody can do it alone. Since Eco Cost Action is a consortium funded by European Union, headed by Martin and Joachim, with trainings uh, coordinated by Enrico and Desislava, and science communication coordinated by Katja, Estra, and Veronica, they, it is a network that helps scientists during training schools, workshops, short term scientific missions, and webinars. And coordinates the work between and within the four working groups, causing scaling gap, temporal gap, realizing synergies between sensors and checking data quality. Those four topics 
are the topics of the following videos. Please stay tuned.